Hey everyone, Xperia Play Week continues with a game that actually didn't come preloaded on the device. I Must Run is an action running game currently only available on the iPhone and as a PlayStation Mini, though it will soon be released as a regular Android app. As you can see, this is something of a Cannibal clone, the popular Flash game made iOS game. From the style of the buildings, the scale of everything, and the things happening in the background, it all screams Cannibal. I Must Run builds on this by adding a melee button and a slide button, and it definitely freshens up the experience. As you run, you can jump over obstacles in your way to be safe, or you can punch them out of the way, building your score multiplier but risking the speed of your run. As you punch things and barely make jumps, you get big score bonuses. Eventually, you have to incorporate sliding under obstacles, and once you get used to it, it becomes a fun and fluid experience. You can play the game with its original screen touch controls too which simply segments areas of the screen for each action, but it's great to play it with a controller. As you continue running, you enter new areas like subways or neighborhoods, and each new area acts as a checkpoint. Unfortunately, there are no checkpoints in the middle of an area, and if you die, even right near the end, you have to tackle the whole run again. This can be really frustrating and it's hard to get very far, as you only have a limited number of lives. There is an endless mode which lets you play any of the game's areas right from the start if you want to see them that way instead. I will say this for the game, even though it's a Cannonball clone, the addition of colors and a variety of levels was definitely an improvement. The game has a solid art style and color scheme which fits it well. There is a story in the game, though you wouldn't know from playing it. I had to find the game's trailer on YouTube to watch the story setup. What I liked about Cannonball though was the mystery and intrigue it created. You had no flipping clue what was going on or why you were running. Then buildings start collapsing, missiles start flying by, and then giant alien slash mech slash Godzilla monsters are fighting in the background. Regardless of originality, this game expands on the very basic formula of Cannibal, and it creates an enjoyable experience in the process. This has been Andrew with Appalicious.com, helping you find mobile apps you'll love.